and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's video, what I'm gonna make is a typical cheese enchilada plate that we get around where I live. I live in South Texas, in San Antonio to be exact. And this is a very typical plate that you get when you go to any, pretty much any Mexican restaurant around here. It's a mix of uh, Tex-Mex Mexican food. This is one of my favorite dishes, some cheese enchiladas with some rice and beans and some flour tortillas. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I make my cheese enchilada plates here for my family. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video. And also guys, I wanna thank you for all the love and support. I got on my previous video on my bun cake that really means a lot to me. I really appreciate when y'all leave comments and tell me what you think of the video. That really helps out the channel. During this video, I did leave out a couple of things that I am gonna link down below. I didn't leave them out. I just didn't have time to make the fresh salsa for you, but I do have a video that I'm gonna link up above and also in the description box where you can go and take a look at the salsas that I have made for you in the past. So they will be linked below, take a look. Anything I use will be linked in the description box also. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are gonna start with the beans. I've had these beans soaking for about an hour and a half or so. I rinse them and I clean them out and then I just let them soak. And I believe this cuts down on the cooking time of the beans. I am going to give them a final rinse and start putting them in our cooking pot. beans in my Dutch oven. I like the way it just keeps the heat and I believe in it cook my beans faster. So I'm just gonna toss in my beans and fill it up with water. And I will add more water as needed. I'm gonna bring these up to the boil and then I'm just gonna reduce the heat to very low. And I just let them go slowly. I start this first thing in the morning so that they'll be ready by the time I start my other things that I'm going to cook up for my dinner. Okay, and to this, all I'm going to add is two crushed garlics. And that's it for now. Give this a stir. It's going to need some more water. But like I said, I will add it as I need it. All right, this has finally come to a boil. So I am going to turn down the heat, put it on very low just to keep it simmering. And we're gonna cover it and we're gonna check it again in about an hour so we'll be back then and we'll start our preparation for our next item that we're gonna cook for this meal okay we'll be right back all right here we go with our enchilada sauce I, you can make this ahead of time or even make it the day before and it'll be fine so we're gonna put some oil about three tablespoons of oil we're gonna let this warm up and then I'm gonna add my flour And we're gonna brown this up a little bit just to get the flour taste out of it. This is such an easy recipe. I like to have some of this on hand to make burritos and other things that I like to cook with this sauce. Okay, so we're just gonna let this go for a few minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna start adding my aromatics, the onion. I dice the onion very small. The garlic, we're gonna saute this just for a second, not too much. We don't want that garlic to get brown or toast up in any way because it'll make your sauce very bitter. So we just want to soften the, the onion just a little bit. Okay, now we are going to add our spices. I am just going to go with chili powder, some comino, some salt, and then of course you adjust it to taste later. And I'm going to save the oregano for the very last. So we're just going to toss this in here. You need to add a little bit more oil. And you can start to smell all these rich flavors coming out right away. Okay, now that's ready. We're going to add in our tomato sauce. And it's going to start to thicken up. Now we're going to start adding in our water. You can use chicken stock if you like for this. Give it some more flavor. Look at that, it just starts to come together right away. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. 
Add a little at a time. You can always add, but you can't take out. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna add is the oregano. Just pinch it between your fingers and it brings out that scent of the oregano. Turn down the heat just a little bit and we're gonna let it simmer for just a couple of minutes and this is ready. You wanna taste it for salt and adjust it to your liking. Delicious, see how quick this came together, guys? This takes no time at all. And like I said, you can make this ahead of time if you wanna have enchiladas for a Friday night or whatever, make it on Thursday night and wow, you have a delicious meal ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna give this a taste. Mm, perfect. Okay, it's simmered Turn down the heat and that's it. It's ready. See how fast and simple that was? Delicious. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the heat transfer it to another bowl and we'll move on to the next step okay now for the sauce i like to strain it so i just get a little strainer and my bowl and i take my sauce and this is just so you can have a smoother consistency on your sauce and then i just push it through with my spatula just like that and then you can get all the, the onion and the garlic. They've already done their job. We don't need them anymore. Okay, and that's it, and there's our sauce. Okay, here we go with our rice. I already have some oil down in my skillet. I'm gonna let it get a little warm. I have my fire medium to high. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna brown our rice. Now the quantity of the rice, of course, depends on your family size. I'm just gonna show you a medium, like a six person, more or less, and with some leftovers for the rice. This is warm, we're gonna add our rice. This is a cup and a half. And of course, you know, rice goes a long way. And we're gonna brown this. You don't want this dark brown, you just want it a golden color, okay? Keep an eye on it once it starts to toast. It goes fast. Okay, it's been about three to four minutes on this browning process. This is ready. I'm gonna bring it so you can see the color. Okay. No more color than that, okay? Because that can ruin your rice. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding our aromatics. We're gonna add in our onion and our garlic. We're gonna saute the onion just till it's tender. Right in the middle, we're gonna make a little well. We're gonna add in our spices. That was comino, uh, chicken bouillon, salt, and pepper. And we're just gonna proof the spices real quick. That brings out all the flavor. I know everybody makes their rice different. This is just my version. Okay, we're gonna add in our tomato sauce. Give that a whirl. And then we're gonna add in our water. Okay, and then we're just gonna give it a little stir. The trick to your rice not getting sticky and starchy is we're not gonna stir it too, too much, okay? We're just gonna make sure that it's, nothing is stuck at the bottom and that everything is distributed evenly. And that's it. Set your timer for 20 minutes. Exactly. We're gonna wait till this comes to the boil. I'm gonna taste this for salt. It's good, perfect. Okay, everything is ready. There's nothing hanging around the sides. Wait for this to come to a simmer. Okay, as you can see, it's already starting to bubble up. So we're gonna cover it, okay? And we're gonna turn the heat all the way down and we're gonna let it go for 20 minutes. Don't uncover it, don't mess with it, don't change the temperature, just leave it alone, 20 minutes. And then we will be back to check it, okay? Okay, it's been 20 minutes, the timer went off, our rice is ready, we're gonna shut off the heat. I'm gonna peek and just make sure everything is okay, the water's evaporated, it's good. We're gonna leave it covered, don't touch it, don't start picking at the rice and just let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and uncover. All right, we're gonna uncover our rice. Look at that, beautiful. And then I just like to fluff it up just a little bit. And look at that, nice and fluffy rice. 
transfer it to my serving bowl. Give it a little taste. Mmm, scrumptious. It's coming along, guys. It's coming together. Okay, here we have our beans. I'm gonna uncover them just to check them. Everything looks good. They don't look like they need any water. And of course, they need about 30 more minutes and then they will be ready. But don't they just look scrumptious? And about 20 more minutes, we're gonna add in our salt to flavor the beans. Okay, so we're just gonna let this go a little while. Alrighty guys, we're gonna check on our beans again. We're gonna add in our salt now because this just needs to cook about 20 more minutes once we add the salt and we're done with the beans. So I just like to put the salt to taste. I add my salt and then I taste it. That was about a teaspoon and a half. I'll give it a little taste. Just a little bit more. And that's it. We're good. See, they just need a little bit more. See how easy they smashed up? Okay, we'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna make the flour tortillas for this uh, menu that we're having today in my bowl. I like to use these bowls that have the rubber on the bottom so that they don't move on you on your counter or put a, a you know wet washcloth and this way you can maintain your bowl. So I have four cups of all-purpose flour. I have a tablespoon of salt. I have a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so we're gonna stir this around. And then I'm gonna take my shortening. I like to add a little bit of butter. If you don't want the butter, leave it out. I just add it all in. And then I'm just gonna scrunch this together so that it incorporates. And I have my water ready over here. This is approximately two cups of water, but you wanna start off easy. Like I said, you can always add, but you can't take out. I'm just gonna put both my hands in here and we're just gonna see how I mesh it in here with my fingers. That incorporates the shortening and the butter with the flour. It's easy, this is really easy. Now, you can make these ahead of time as well. You can make them the day before, they hold for a few days really nice in the refrigerator. And what's better than a homemade flour tortilla? Okay, see, I just continue to mush it together. And I'm gonna start adding the water. Okay, just make a little well in the middle. And I just start going, and the water is uh, warm. Mine is a little bit more hot than warm. And then you just start gathering it into a ball. Okay, and then I have some extra flour right here. We need to get to that. A little bit of water, start incorporating it. Okay, and that's it. The rest of it, I'm gonna do it on my countertop. So make sure your countertops are clean. Everything is out of our bowl. I used about one and a half cups of water there. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less. It just depends on the humidity, the condition of your flour, if it hydrates. So now we're just gonna give it a knead on the counter. And that's it. That's our dough for our tortillas. We're gonna start rolling out our balls. The size that I make them, I like to make them where it fits in my, just like that in my hand, the size of my hand. And then you just make your little balls you can't make them in your hand like that. You can just push the dough down, press on top, cup it on top, push down and roll. And that'll give you a nice size uh, ball size for the tortilla, just like that. Okay, so just roll it like this in a circle. And that's all you need right there. Okay, let me get all these rolled out and I will be right back. the balls ready for us to roll them out. I just keep them on top of a parchment paper. This quantity of dough that we made today makes approximately 15 to 18 tortillas depending on the size. So here we have 6, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, one short of 18. But that's about what I normally get. So I'm just gonna leave those there to rest. We're gonna move on to the next step. I have a little bit of flour here for the rolling in case I need it, but we're just gonna leave them there covered so that they don't dry up and we will continue. All right, we're gonna roll out our tortillas because everything is coming together. We're just about done. So I just get my little uh, balls and I dust them with just a little tiny bit of flour. You don't need too much because this dough came out pretty good. It's not sticky or anything. So I just take my tortilla and start rolling it out. It doesn't matter, guys, if they don't come out round. Believe me, people will eat them. I don't like a very big or thick tortilla. I like to make my tortillas smaller on the smaller side and a little bit thinner. So I make them about this size. It's about, what, six inches in diameter. And I um, start piling them up here. I just have a little parchment paper there on the side and I just keep rolling them until I'm done and then we're gonna start to cook them. I have my griddle ready, it's warming up right now. Sometimes if you have somebody to help you roll and somebody cooks, well it goes a lot faster. And that's it, see, same size. If you notice, I don't go, I don't turn it all the way. I just kinda give it like a quarter of a flip and that helps me keep them round but like I said if they're not round it's okay I've always said there's no round tortilla police out there nobody gonna come get you so I'm just gonna continue to roll these and we'll start to cook our tortillas all right so here I have all my tortillas rolled out ready to go I'm gonna transfer you over to the griddle so we can get to cooking these okay here we go I have a napkin with a little bit of oil on it and what I'm going to do is, I'm, this griddle's already hot. I have it on medium to high, and we're going to adjust it. You're going to see it's going to smoke up a lot, but that's kind of what you want. And we're going to adjust it. The first cup, we're going to be pretty hot, and they're going to go pretty fast. And then we'll lower the temperature. We'll raise the temperature back up. So here we go with the first two. And when you slay them down, you want to be able to turn them like that. That's how you know that your griddle is good to go. You really want to pre-warm the griddle. Let me grab my little, my favorite little spatula. There's a couple of bubbles. I'm going to turn them. The first turn is right away. This side is not cooked by far. But I like to just keep turning my tortillas so that the heat gets distributed evenly and they cook evenly. Once I put the first set of tortillas, I raise the heat just a little bit and I peek. You see how it starts to cook them right away? Real nice. I like to just keep turning them. You don't have to keep turning them if you don't want to. This is just my way, how I've done it forever. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it. And they should puff up on you at this point. You see that? Look at that beautiful tortilla. Look at that. And the steam will cook the dough on the inside. You just gotta keep turning it so that the bottom side doesn't burn. See how it's just gonna get it right in the middle? But the steam will cook the rest of it, you see? And don't let one of these pop on your hand because you will get some severe damage. I have a nice clean tea cloth over here that I'm gonna start putting my tortillas. I try not to pile them up so that they don't get soggy. And then I just cover them like that. Keep going with the rest of them. I love to make tortillas, one of my favorite things to do. Let me know in the comments if you like making your own tortillas as opposed to buying them in the store. One thing that I didn't make on this video that I didn't show y'all was how I make my hot sauce to go along with this dinner. But I will link up in the cards of, uh, here somewhere or listed in the description box below. I will leave a couple of recipes for how I make my homemade hot sauce. You have to have the hot sauce with this dinner for sure. See how pretty that looks? Look at that. Beautiful. Take it out. Everybody, all 
all the tortillas are done. Look here. Look at all that beautiful, nice and hot. You could just eat this with some hot sauce. Delicious. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna get our corn tortillas ready now for our enchiladas. And I just get my griddle. I could have used the same one from the flour tortillas, but I already had this out. What I do is I put a little bit of oil and we're gonna soften the tortillas up. And I have a little plate that I'm gonna put them on over here. Let me get my flipper. And then of course you make as many as you need for your family. I'm just gonna make a tray to show you exactly how I prepare them. Okay, let's get started rolling this enchiladas. Alrighty, the time has come for the best part. We're gonna take our tortilla. You don't have to oil them up if you don't want to. You can soften them up in the microwave if you want. I am using a mild cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. We like onions in our enchiladas, so I put some onions in here. And then you just roll them up and put them in a tray. I'm gonna use this tray right here because they are gonna go into the oven to melt the cheese after we're done rolling. So I'm gonna continue to roll these. Put the seam side down. Okay, so there are the enchiladas we are gonna top them now. I have preheated the oven. Let's move these over to the center a little bit. And here I have my enchilada salsa that I just transferred over to a more manageable container. I can if I have any leftovers, or if I make a double batch, I can freeze it. Put as much sauce as you want. I like a lot of sauce. And then, that looks delicious, it smells awesome. I get the cheese, and we're gonna top it with some more cheese. And that's it. And then we like, like I said, we like lots of onion. So I'm gonna sprinkle some onion on top. You can use scallions if you prefer. If you don't like it, don't add it. The oven, look at that, doesn't that look scrumptious? Okay, I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes or so, however long it takes for the cheese to melt. Now when I say cheese to melt, I mean all the inside to get nice and melted and gooey. Okay, I will be back. Okay guys, here are the enchiladas. Look at that, right out of the oven. We're gonna set them on top of this topper here. I'm gonna show you what the dinner's gonna be like. Okay, and here we have our tortillas. And over here we have our rice, our beans, our salsa. I will link a salsa recipe for y'all down in the description box. A little bit of pico de gallo. And that's gonna be it. Let me go ahead and plate this up so we can taste it. Alrighty guys, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? And it does smell delicious. I wish we had smell-o-vision because you're missing out. So you need to hurry up and go make this. Let's go ahead and give these enchiladas a taste. I love the creaminess of the cheese with some Mexican rice, you cannot go wrong. Oh, but before I forget, we have to add some salsa to this dish for sure. You can't have this without some homemade salsa. So let's take a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that's just delicious, guys, delicious. Let's give these beans a taste. I put a little bit of pico de gallo in there, some onion, tomato, cilantro. Mmm, mmm. Good stuff, guys, you gotta try it. Okay, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I really hope that you give these recipes a try and come back and let us know in the comments how you liked it. Alrighty, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget, share with family and friends. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.